In this video, we're going to learn how to create horizontal and vertical progress bars, customize them with our own image, and also change the progress value and colors programmatically. Progress bars are commonly used in games to show things like health, loading, or completion of tasks. We can find the progress bar component in the UI component section. Now let's change its size a bit. Change the width to 500 and the height to 50. The total length value has to match the width of the progress bar if you want the bar to fill completely. The bar node inside the progress bar controls the visual indicator of the progress. Let's align the bar at the start. Set its position to negative 250. This is half of the total length, ensuring it starts from the far left. Change the height to 50. And don't change the width because it's controlled by the progress property. Let's actually play with this property by moving the slider in the progress bar component. This property represents the progress value of the bar. The value can go from 0 to 1 and anything in between those numbers, like 0.3 or 0.5. Sometimes you might need to reverse the progress bar. We can do this by checking the reverse property. This is commonly used in fighting games for showing the opponent's health. Let's uncheck reverse and head over to the bar node. We can change the color of the bar to whatever we want. I'm going to change it to red. Now let's vertically set our progress bar. We can do this by setting the progress mode to vertical. Now that it's vertical, Progress depends on the y and height values instead of the x and width. Let's switch the values and make the width 50 and the height 500. And the total length should stay at 500. Now let's fix the bar. Let's set the x to 0 to center it and set the y to negative 250 to align it to the bottom. And lastly, change the width to 50. Now we can see the progress go up and down when it increases or decreases, and the opposite when reversed. Now let's add a custom image as a background for our progress bar. We can do this by easily updating the sprite frame prop. I've downloaded two images, one for the bar itself and the other for the background. I'm going to drag this image to the sprite frame. And now we easily have a custom background. Let's do the same for the bar with the loading bar image. And reset the color to white so there isn't any tint to the image. Now let's adjust the bar's width and Y position to fit within the borders of the background. Since we move the Y position up a bit, we can see that when the bar is filled, it goes through the background. We can easily fix this by decreasing the total length a bit and everything still works as it should. Now let's add some interactions with scripts. Create a new script called progress script. In the script, I've set up event listeners for the arrow keys. We'll use these to change the progress bar programmatically. If you want to learn more about event listeners, I have a crash course explaining more in depth about them. Now let's define a health variable and set it to 100. And when we press one of the arrow keys, we want the health to increase or decrease. In the arrow up case, we're going to write a statement if health is less than 100, then increase it by 1. Let's copy this and place it in the arrow down case. Change the statement to if health is greater than 0, then decrease it by 1. Now we need to update the progress bar to display the current health. Let's get the progress bar component and set the progress to health divided by 100, where 100 refers to the max or total health. We can move this line to the bottom of the function, so it can update the progress bar whenever we press either one of the arrow keys, and we don't repeat the same line, keeping the code clean. Let's head back to Coco's and add the script to the node, and set the progress to 1. Run the scene. And now we can control the health with the arrow keys. Now let's make it so that the bar changes color depending on the amount of health left. I set the sprite frame back to the default progress bar image. And change the color to green. 
Back in the script, I went ahead and added the if statements for each color and made it so that you can increase and decrease the health by 10 instead of 1 to demonstrate the changes more quickly. With this if else statement, we're setting the color to green if health is greater than 70, yellow if greater than 50, or red otherwise. And we set the bar color with bar sprite from the progress bar component. Let's head back to Coco's and run the scene. Now we can see the colors change when the health reaches a certain threshold. Like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And the best way to support the channel is by using the QR code on the top left. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.